Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome everyone back to another video. Hopefully you are all enjoying your day. And as you can see, we are back with another MW Remastered video. As you can see by the title, it's kind of controversial because we're going to be talking about new DLC weapons coming to Modern Warfare Remastered. And if you don't believe me, just watch this video because unfortunately it is going to happen. I really don't want it to happen. But here's the thing, Activision wants money and that's how it's really going to work out for the rest of the Call of Duty series in the future and unfortunately it is going to happen. I don't know if they're going to be bringing back supply drops, none of the images or gameplay suggest that, but that's what we're going to be looking at in today's video. So if you want more of this, drop it a thumbs up, be greatly appreciated and let's get right into it. So if you didn't know, Raven Software or Activision is going to be releasing a new update uh, to MW Remastered either tomorrow or in two days. And basically this update is going to be bringing back some of the old maps that should have been in this remastered game when it first came out. And basically we're missing the maps of like Pipeline and Kill House. And guess what? They're bringing it back, which is awesome. But unfortunately there's going to be new camos and weapons that are going to be coming to this remastered game. So as I explained, how there's going to be a new update and there's going to be new maps coming to the game. I'm not sure if you guys already know this and I'm probably sure you guys have seen gameplay of it, but basically big YouTubers like Drifter, Hudge, all those type of people get uh, flown out to record some early gameplay of the new maps, as I explained, like Pipeline, Kill House, basically to show you guys and the viewers some early gameplay of the new map so it gets you hyped up all that type of jazz but what's quite interesting is that a lot of people found screenshots within their gameplay and video gameplay that suggest on the kill feed that we're going to be getting new weapons in this game it's kind of unfortunate but as i said unfortunately it is going to happen so starting off with this screenshot right here basically what this appears is the multiplayer change loadout menu but if you zoom into the a class section what you can see is the attachment and you have something weird called kit you then have obviously the camo slot but then over to the right we have something called reticle so basically there's going to be weapon kits coming to the game as well as something called a reticle option i'm guessing what this means is you can buy some type of reticle in the PlayStation Store, Xbox Store, that changes the cosmetic look of your reticle, which I guess is kind of fine. But then there's also weapon kits, which I have no idea what that could be. Uh, but basically what weapon kits are apparently meant to do is change the look of one of the weapons and make it look a little bit different or a bit more fancy. And as you can see on the screen right now, this is the M1014 shotgun that we all know, but something's a little bit different. The shotgun looks way different than normal, as you can see on the screen right now. This is what the shotgun normally looks like. As you can see, there's a big difference. The actual look of the gun has changed, and also it's got a weird red camo to it. And basically, that's what a weapon kit is apparently meant to do. It's meant to change the weapon and give it a little bit of a camo. Obviously, that could be wrong. But what I've been seeing around Reddit and YouTube and Twitter, this is the image that's circulating around, trying to tell people exactly what weapon kits are meant to do. And the only problem with the weapon kits I can see is that I don't know if it increases range to the weapon or if it makes the weapon even better. But what we only know for now is that it makes the weapon look a bit different, which some people can kind of understand. I really don't mind it too much if the weapon just changes, not the actual damage and range and all that stuff. If it's just the looks of the weapon, then I suppose it really isn't too bad. And as we all know from months and months ago, about 30 days ago, not that long, uh, basically what we've seen is leaks of other DLC weapons, which as you can see on the screen right now is a shovel. This has been rumored because a lot of people found this in their PC game files. Uh, there's also been this weapon here called the Cam Chutka. Hopefully I said that right. Basically, that's just an automatic shotgun you can see the gameplay of the shotgun on the screen right now it kind of looks pretty cool it looks like a bit of an AA-12 from Modern Warfare 3 or Modern Warfare 2 whatever but it basically is an auto shotgun and apart from that why am I talking about an old rumored shovel and shotgun that was supposedly meant to come to Modern Warfare Remastered 30 days ago well here's the thing 
it's basically already in the game. We're just waiting for the update to come out for these weapons to be able to be used by you guys and myself. And the reason why I say we're waiting for the update for these weapons to come out is that remember when I mentioned at the start of the video, big YouTubers like Drifter and Hutch get sent somewhere from Call of Duty to record the new early gameplay of Kill House, Pipeline. Basically, they're there to record some of the new maps and show it to you guys. Guess what? These weapons are also in that build of the game. So if I pull up another screenshot, you guys are probably getting tired of screenshots, but as you can see, another screenshot right here is early gameplay from Drifter. And as you can see, it's on one of the coolest maps in COD4 Remastered. But if you look at the kill feed, there you go. It already confirms that we're gonna be getting the shovel melee weapon in modern warfare remastered it says drifter mwr and he kills someone else which i do think is t martin with the shovel basically the kill feed in itself just confirms that we're going to be getting a shovel type of melee into the game when the update comes out which is kind of sad because i really don't want to see any new weapons coming into the game but there you go we can see it already if we head into the next screenshot this one's a little bit weird if we zoom into the kill feed once again you will see that we see a sword this time i really have no clue what activision are trying to do to this game hopefully it doesn't become kind of random where they keep adding different weapons but as you can see that one is a sword and if we head into the next gameplay this one here looks a bit different i'm not sure exactly what that logo is meant to be maybe it's meant to be like a whip or a stick or a type of sword or something i'm not too sure but as you can tell with these screenshots and the gameplay these youtubers went out to play some of the new maps early get you guys gameplay but what they weren't allowed to show you was the new weapons coming out but a lot of people saw the new weapons in the kill feed they screenshotted the screen and as you can see it basically confirms that we're going to be getting the shovel some type of sword and maybe some type of shotgun that we will get in the future and uh, as you can tell with the weapon kits and the reticle i'm not sure when that's going to come out either apparently it's going to come out in these few days which is a little bit interesting but what i want to do is i want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below do you think they should add new weapons to this game or not the reason why i don't like them adding in new weapons and new camos into this game is that this is meant to be a remastered version of cod 4 the original og cod 4 that everyone loved and everyone liked which unfortunately they're adding in random swords and shovels which makes no apparent sense into today's game. I really don't want them to do this because obviously in my personal opinion, it's gonna ruin the game. I still want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Now, the only thing I see something good happening out of these new DLC weapons and camos is that if it doesn't change anything. Now, I know for a fact that of course, we saw the screenshots with the new weapons, with the new swords and shovels and whatnot. What Activision and Raven Software could do is easily add them into supply drops and make people pay lots of money to try and get it or they're just going to put it in the PlayStation or Xbox store where someone only has to pay a dollar or two dollars which to be honest isn't that bad then I guess supply drops and obviously if they give it to free and obviously if they give it free to everyone that's even better but still at the same time it's kind of ruining what cod 4 was like made on what type of weapons it has it's meant to be a remaster for god's sakes it should be the exact same copy with enhanced graphics and whatnot obviously a lot of people may like it in my personal opinion as i said i personally do not i still want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below but as you can see we're going to be getting a shovel some type of sword something else that happens to look like a fishing rod and possibly a shotgun and all those weapons are going to be coming within the next update so tomorrow or the day after so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below hopefully you did enjoy if you did drop it a thumbs up and i will catch you guys later glory about